Someone needs to teach TikTokers what an April Fool's prank is ASAP. Your girl Anna is back, loves. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about these TikTokers that thought that coming out would be a funny April Fool's prank. Let's get right into it. So, this all started when a TikTok user that goes by the name Z Smitty, aka Zach, thought it would be a good idea to prank people into thinking he's bisexual. Just take a look at this. At first, fans didn't realize he was kidding and started supporting and expressing how proud of him they are. But it all went downhill when he went on live to let people know that he was, in fact, joking and that he is straight. I'm gonna say it now, I am a straight male. I am only attracted to females. Um, yes, that video, my recent TikTok saying I have kissed dudes. Yes, I have kissed males before, but I am not sexually attracted to males. I am a straight male. Clap if you care. All right, let's move on. And he wasn't the only one without a sense of humor, though. Ivan Martinez, known from the Martinez twins, also uploaded a similar TikTok on the same day. Something about this doesn't sit right in my spirit. Unlike Zach, he decided to respond straight away, addressing the whole issue. As y'all might understand, the public clearly wasn't having any of it. Quickly after, many TikTokers started calling them out for their queer baiting. After seeing the backlash, Zach decided to go on live again to at least try and explain his way out of the mess. He decided to tell people that he tried to normalize breaking gender norms and stereotypes, which doesn't really even explain anything. My first point is normalizing straight male expression. So um, I am a straight male and I love makeup. I love to do makeup and I love to wear female clothing and accessories. I have been doing that for a while. I've been doing it for probably over a year now because I love to do it. Later on, he also uploaded an apology video to try to get people to forgive him. And I never meant to upset anyone in the LGBTQT plus community. And I also apologize to anyone who's struggling with coming out or anyone that hasn't come out yet and they're struggling with that. Hopefully you can take what I said into consideration and I appreciate you listening. Yeah, Zach, that apology is not going to help you get out of the sh you got yourself into. The TikToker Benji, TikTok's queer sweetheart, went on Instagram Live where he gave a heartbreaking speech about how not okay any of that is. I'm really mad. I'm so mad. All these people who always are queer baiting, always are getting faking that they're gay, faking that they're bi, and going out and like, it's so annoying to watch. You don't know how frustrating it is. It's really hard to know like what's who you are and what it's about and who you like. And people just make fun of it. Even James Charles and Madison Beer were quick to address the issue on TikTok. It's not funny. You know why it's not funny? Because people in my community die for coming out of the closet. It is a very, very serious and hard thing that people in my community go through, and it is not something to make a joke out of just so you can get likes and get on the For You page on TikTok. I think it's really f***ed up, and I think that it, like, completely devalues the pain and the scariness. What do you guys think? Did all of this go too far? Let me know in the comments below. I love you so much. 